Hey guys, Zokrin here, and today we are here to play yet another Killing Floor custom map. So, this one is actually a continuation of Ashes, which was a freaking amazing map, to put it in um, simple words. The art style was just... blew my mind at the time, so I'm very excited to see what has been done now. Now, obviously, for disclosure reasons that I've been doing since now... <laughs> No, the last video I did, which was, um, that Samurai thing. Um, I've done this guy's maps, obviously, I played the first Ashes, so I know who he is, and yada yada yada, you get it. Um, I kind of like his stuff, basically, is how I can put it, so, I don't know. We're not buddy buddies or anything, but, mates awesome maps, so, disclosure, there you go, whatever, it's a mod. <laughs> it's free. Alright, so, without further ado, let's get on with the map. You struggle to survive... Also, I don't know if... I-O-L. Oh, no, I-O-I. -I. I don't know what that means, but... Unless it's supposed to literally say L-O-L, in which case... Interesting! <laughs> you struggle to survive for the city of Inquisition. Following the signs, you head towards what appeared to be an abandoned space port. What? That's interesting. This story's taking an interesting turn. Some Zeppelins from the Golden Age are still waiting for passengers on the platforms. You know where are the ammunition caches and the food cans. All you have to do is to reach is to reach one of those ships on the launching platform. But this is not a this city is not a sanctuary anymore. It's a killing floor. Ha <laughs> ha! Referencing the game, get it? <laughs> you fucking get it. So I um I'm not gonna question grammar because again, it's grammar. You, I'm doing a map review, not a drama review, so. Yeah! There are some grammar issues, but whatever. To that, let's play the game. I'm already seeing some... Oh, my dear mother of God! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is how I remember this shit. I love this art style. It... Okay. This is the kind of map I really fucking enjoy. Just... What is that music, though? Oh, no, no, that's normal music. Everyone's just like, what was that? But, um... Already... It's very dark. I probably should turn off my lights. Hang on a second. Let me turn on my lights so I can see better. There we go. Much better. Now I can actually see what the hell's going on. So, yeah, right off the bat, I can tell you, it's a fucking dark map. But it's so freaking cool. I like all the particle effects and things that are in it. That is... That's awesome. Um, it's, um, based on- oh, I keep saying, um, I'm sorry about that. It's kind of my thing. You know that by now. Um, <laughs> uh, it's based off Ashes 1, as I said, so it had a very- Actually, no, it had the exact same art style, pretty much. I can't fucking see the art style now, and I just threw a grenade. I am a complete mess right now. I don't know why. I think I'm just in amazement. But, um, it's the same art style as the first one, but it's a completely different map with fucking Zeppelins. I like Zeppelins. Zeppelins are fucking awesome. I don't know why, they just are. I like the idea of them. It especially fits the map, for whatever reason, I just feel like it does. It suits the art. So, now what would be amazing is if I could find this supposed spaceport. That would be interesting. So, because yeah, Zeppelins are not spacing. They're not. Unless we're going in completely fictional terms, in which case I guess they could be. But, in realistic terms, Zeppelins have nothing to do with space. They're actually moving? Are they actually moving? I can't tell. I thought for a second I saw one of them moving. I thought they might have actually been programmed to move. What is this about? Um... I don't see a trader. It's here, but... Okay, that is... A little weird. I'm gonna say that right now. I don't see a trader. I'm not sure if I'm... Supposed to, or if they're just like, ah, fuck it. I don't think there is a traitor. So that is one little weird thing. Kind of. It is a shopping kind of area, though, so that's interesting. Can you actually read anything on that? No, it's just the, the Inquisition symbol. Or whatever the fuck that is. Oh, I want to go in there. It looks so fucking creepy. It looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, this place is awesome. I'm trying to not get distracted, though, because I need to explore as much of it as possible, obviously. And I want to find the spaceport, if there even is one in this map. It might have just been in part of the story or whatever, which means Ash is free. Might be a spaceport, which would be... 
All right, let me put it to you this way. If they could fucking do this art style in a spacey way, I probably would die in a good way. <laughs> like, this, this is awesome. I like the style. They even have, like, steam and shit. Like, literal steam for the steam pipe phase. That attention to detail is something you don't really see in a lot of these maps. Obviously, not all the pipes have it, just not all the pipes are broken, I guess. Or whatever that one was. Whatever, it's steaming. Probably if I had time to analyze it, I'd probably figure out why it's steaming, but you get my point. At the moment, I'm a little bit trying not to die. What is that? Oh, it's water! I don't know where I'm going, but it's fucking creepy and awesome at the same time. That's probably a spawner. Fuck off. And this map is much harder than the last one I played, which is the samurai one. It's nice and big, though, which is awesome. I love that about maps. It's very big, and it gives you the ability to explore it. And I'm, I can't see right now, though. Fucking hell. Though I would recommend... Ah! Possibly turning up your brightness. Because <laughs> I can't fucking see shit. That's not, that's not bad. It's just it's the art style. It's kind of dark, which is intentional. And I like it! I like it a lot! I really feel like it's like a nuclear dawn kind of thing, like... Not nuclear dawn, but like nuclear, something nuclear happened, and that's why everything's ashy. That's kind of why I like it. Whoa, this looks cool. It's a church, I think. Something with light, and I'm stuck. Shit. Well, this could be bad. Actually, no. I think we'll be okay. It'd be better if I had a shotgun, but... I don't. So yeah, remember this when you're playing this map. This room's apparently a trap. It's a trap! It's a trap! Ah! <laughs> Jesus, I can't see anything on the screen. That's great. Fuck it out. There we go. Alright. Come get me. So Yeah, see? It's because um there's probably like a little crack or something. You know, they're trying to emulate that there's a problem with the pipe, basically, and that's that's some attention to detail that you don't really see. Like, even this. Like, there's little steam things kind of coming around it. That's, like I said, detail normally not paid attention to on these kind of maps. Which gives the kind of realistic -y approach. Oh, so they're going for... Okay, so I'm basically taking stuff out of the supplies is what they're trying to go for, I think. Hence the boxes. I couldn't... What? Okay, that's dumb. Not... No, 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 no. No, not the map thing, but for some reason, um... I couldn't afford my... Kana. Which is a little stupid, but okay. I guess. I made a mistake selling that. I probably should have... To be fair, I should have calculated myself and seen what it is. Can I, like, close it? No, I can't. I was hoping I could, like, fix it up. And do something. Maybe reveal some kind of super secret thing. But at the moment, I'm still looking for this spaceport. Somewhere. Somewhere. I'm sure... Well, no, I'm not very sure, but... There's a possibility there could be one, and that alone is enough to keep me looking. Also, these eerie buildings that just have blackness in them is pretty cool. Like, just anything could be in there. Monsters could be looking at you through the windows kind of thing. That's pretty cool. I like everything about this map. Oh, God. I'm not going to give it any ratings yet, though, obviously. Because anything could happen yet. There might be pathing issues or something. Anything could happen. Anything. As much as I like the art style. Die. So, I hope I didn't just with the whole map already, though, because that would be unfortunate. I'm sure I'm missing things, which is why I'm trying to find them here. That was the trap, right? That was the catacomb area. This is a room of some sort. Hmm. Still trying to look around. That's that room. All right, I'm getting back to where I was. I hope that really wasn't it, though, because. As awesome as it is, it's, a, it's not as big as I thought. I mean, if I looked at it on a scale, it's big, but... I don't know. No, I think there's a lot more to this city than I thought. If, if I just look a little harder, probably. Seems like it, anyway. Unless it's all an illusion. Which it very well could be. These Some of these maps do that really well. Fuck off, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to go to the next wave yet. Actually, I do. I'm very close to the traitor. Fuck it. Down my face. I like the big ones. Don't you? I really do hope there's a spaceport in here, though. If there isn't, uh, that'd be a letdown. <laughs> you ain't got the money for that one, babe. There's a spaceport, guys. A fucking spaceport. Okay. This time, if I sell it, it looks like it wouldn't be enough. So screw it. I'm just gonna hold on to the ass this time, not waste money. 
Now buy Katana because Katana bad. Katana not worth price at the moment. What wave is it anyway? Only wave three, so yeah, it's not really worth it at all at the moment. All right. Well, it does not actually. I'm gonna hold that, but at the moment it doesn't really seem that there's any more to it. But I'm still looking. Um. Did I actually go in there? I think I did. I'm gonna go again. I thought this was the place that just led me to the catacombs, but I could be wrong. This might actually lead me somewhere. No, this looks like something. No, it's just a wall. Damn. Guns, okay. boys. You know what to do with them. Yeah, I was here. Maybe there's some secret down here I can look for. But yeah, that might actually be it. Now, as cool as that is, that is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> to be fair, some of these map makers, as awesome as their games look, or not games, but uh, maps look, can't put more, and sometimes it's not even because they just, they, fiz they don't have the ability to, but because Steam, I believe, actually does have a workshop limit. And even if they compress their stuff, you know, sometimes there is a chance because of how big the map is, it would be over that limit, so. This could be a situation of that. Now, don't get me wrong, it's definitely going to affect my score, but I want you to understand from both sides here. That could be why this is small. But then again, I could be completely wrong. There could be way more than I'm missing here. And I probably am. I wish that was actually destroyable. That would have been awesome. I'm not sure if that's even doable, though, in this, to be fair. Without making it a KFO map. I'm not really sure how that stuff works, to be honest. Fuck off. Ah! Oh god, I'm getting fucking cornered here. Which actually is working, because I'm just OP. Because I'm a berserker. <laughs> OP as fuck! But yeah, as awesome and as stunning as this map is, in terms of design, um... Uh, there isn't much to it. I believe I did say that the original one was small, I forget, but... I almost feel as though this one's a little smaller, despite everything in it. Which is unfortunate. As you know, I am biased. I like large maps in that regard, because it gives me a lot to explore. But again, that's my own personal biases. The shop is open, boys. Come get me. But I'm going to save everything until I die, or until I complete the map. At the moment, though, it would seem that is unfortunately it, and that is slightly disappointing. But, regardless for what they have, it's good. I just wish it was bigger, personally. Again, this is months after I was requested to do this, because I forget if I... Oh yeah, I did forget to say that uh, this was requested. I don't think it was actually requested by the map maker, though. I think it was requested by um, someone else. I forget. I really do. Ages ago. I don't even remember the requested things anymore. I don't even keep track anymore. I just kind of let them go. But, yeah. Okay. Not good at that. <laughs> but, um, one thing I definitely will say is it's small, as I've said a million times now. But, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's really anything else. It looks like it would be something, but. They're coming. I don't I'm know. Gone. I forget if this was a beta or not. No, it wasn't. This is the full map, so it's just this small at the moment. And to be fair, it's not even that small. It just gives you the illusion of being small, which isn't bad. That's a good design choice, but, you know. But despite how small it is, I do like it. I gave the Ashes 1 thing a very positive score last time, I remember. I think it was possibly a 10 or a 9 or something. I forget, something like that. Probably should have reviewed that. Or, um, you know, done some extra research on what I've reviewed it as before, but I'm dead. <laughs> so... I'm very professional, you know. Super, super professional. I'm just fucking slaughtering everything into this corner. Holy shit, that is a little bit of a balancing issue. <laughs> Again, though, it's another case of I'm just OP as a Berserker in this map for some reason. That was on the last map, too. Maybe it's just fucking Berserkers are OP as fuck. Maybe I need to, like, raise the difficulty. I almost feel like I do. But I don't know. It doesn't really seem like you can go out there, though. I wish you could, but I'm sure there is a way, actually, if I try. No, actually, there might not be, to be fair. A lot of these things kind of seem slightly closed off. Or 
maybe there's like some secret where they open with the trailer. Cause there wasn't a wall there before. There was, yeah, that wall goes down. So that's interesting. Safe. Oh wow, I can already afford the claymore. Leveling up is helpful. Now I'm definitely OP as fuck. <laughs> Shit. Is that killing floor music? Yeah, that is. That's the um, <laughs> the circus music. Okay. Um, like maybe just a weldable door that you could have actually you know opened would have been cool. Like something. Like some of those maps do that, but you, there's nothing. There's literally. It does not seem that there's any way past this little area, which is unfortunate. It really is, to be fair. So. Obviously, we'll be sticking it out for the ride and been trying to figure out things to say along the way, but at the moment, um, I think there's nothing else to it. So, I think we've explored it all. Guns, boys. So, you know what to do with them. I'm gonna have to think of what the fuck to talk about now. <laughs> what? What is that supposed to be? That looks cool. I just don't know what the hell it is. Because I'm dumb as shit. I think it's... At first I thought it was supposed to be a fountain, but it also, it also kind of looks like a brazier or whatever the hell they're called. The flaming torch things. The big things. Could be wrong. Probably wrong. Yeah, that might be what it is. It's not lit. Now that would be cool to see. With this art style, like a flame, that would be cool to see. Like, would they st actually make that the only colored thing in the entire map? Like, not black and whitish style? Or would that actually be a black flame? Or would it just be like the only colored thing? That would be interesting. I think I kind of want to see what the map maker would do with fire. Please make something fiery and ashes full are uh, free. Okay, here's some pathing problems. What's with that fucking spider? That spider was just standing there the whole time. That's that's weird. I swear they're just kind of standing there at times too. Like I just hang on. Like if I go in this corner. They still chase me? No. They still chase me. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it wasn't a path issue. Just an AI issue. I don't know. I will hold it against the map maker for now. I will say, though, it's not too bad for Berserker at all. But <laughs> it seems, for two maps in a row now, that seemed to have been the case. So I'm not sure if Berserkers are just OP or not. Which it's kind of seeming not they are, so. Or I'm just MLG Pro as a Berserker or whatever. I don't know. So now we're on wave sits. I probably should start making these smaller too, possibly. I don't know. These um sessions, because I don't know. Sometimes they get a little bit too long if you ask me. There doesn't seem to be much more to it. But at the same time, there have been cases where I've said that and then I found something, so I don't know. I'll probably just keep it as it is. I think 10 is a good amount. But this map is going a lot quicker, I think, than the other ones. I could be wrong. Probably I'm wrong, to be fair. But, yeah. So. That's a thing. If I remember the samurai one, took like 30 minutes. So. And that's because this map is obviously smaller. Much smaller. Like, it's not... It's not smaller. It's very big. Like, you see this stuff around you, but... How do I word it? It's... It's small because they give you the illusion that it's big, but it's not actually that big. I'd probably say it's a medium style map. Probably if you want a really close word, I'd say, yeah, it's a medium map. Wow, that guy didn't even hit me once. That's bad. Berserkers are OP. <laughs> Fucking hell. And the fact that we just hit so fast. God. Fuck off. Play more sword for Scotland, man! Scotland, man! I don't know. Alright. Fireball. Yep. That, wow, that was like instant reaction. <laughs> but yeah, um... I guess I could, st I could start talking about my rating for this. Like, just thinking about it. I am already, you know, obviously always thinking about it, but, you know, actually verbally saying, um... I think we're looking at an 8 or a 9 so far. Just because of the fact that, um... Which, to be fair, might be what I gave the last one. I'm not sure what I gave the last one, but... Because 
It looks amazing. I love the art style, possibly more than the last one, but because of how awesome the art style is, and because they show so much, I feel it's a little disappointing that you can't actually, you know, go out to, say, a spaceport that was mentioned in the story, which, to be fair, probably shouldn't have even been mentioned if you can't even go there or even see it. But, you know, it's one of those situations. Wait a minute, is that a tower? Did that just appear? Wait a minute. I want to see. I could be very well just crazy and just starting to notice it, but there is something with that Zeppelin there. To go shopping. Hang on. Let me, um. Yo, know, I think that tower's always been there. I'm just crazy. Okay, that's interesting. But see, that kind of thing is a little disappointing because, honestly, let's be real here. We could have removed all these walls, you know, or not we, but you, Map Maker, could have removed all these walls and say, allowed us to actually go all the way out there. Which would have been fucking amazing, you know? But you didn't. Now, as I said, that very well could have been because of Steam's limit. You know, it could have. But, regardless, because of how awesome you've made it and because you've shown these, like, towers and stuff out there, like, oh my god, like, look at those towers kind of thing. And, oh my god, look at all the scenery, look at all the buildings. Because you show that, you give the feeling that you should, you know, be able to just go to a house and go, I want to explore this house. You know? Whereas in, say, Ashes 1, it was more of a catacombsy area. Like, there were big-ass walls and things. You know? And, yes, the doors were closed. And that was, le that was justifiable. Doors were closed. Okay, sure. This is a situation where it's just like, I don't know. Like, there's so much in it that, as cool as it looks, serves no purpose. Whereas the last one, just about everything you did in the Ashes 1, you know, you could go up to it. Like, the big-ass churches and stuff, you know, obviously you couldn't go on a roof or anything stupid like that. But, you know, you could go up to the churches and you could explore the courtyards and stuff like that. Like, that was cool. As small of a map it was, that was a cool idea. Whereas, as awesome as all this looks, Unfortunately, the fact that all of this is here makes me as a human being, a curious human being at that, want to go out and fucking go to it. Like, no clip out, but unfortunately I shouldn't need to use no clip, but, you know, in this case I'd have to no clip. And I don't, I don't think I should have to no clip, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish you could just go out there, is basically what I'm trying to say. By, by, um... Not allowing you to go out there, you really just get my imagination screaming. I want to see not my imagination, my uh my curiosity. But unfortunately, I can't. No matter how hard I try, I can't go out and see that stuff out there. And let's not let's not lie. Because I can't see that stuff out there, I know for a fact that even if I know clipped, it probably would not look as detailed as it does from here. And if it does, well, why did you even bother? I mean if you made it as detailed as it looks out there, as it really is, like, no. If it's really as detailed as it looks is what I'm trying to say. Like, if there really is a giant tower that is, you know, interactable, like, if you touch it, you'll bump into a, an invisible wall or whatever. Or, you know, like, it's a solid object, basically. Like, oh, if, if everything out there is a solid object is what I'm trying to say. Why did you even bother if you were just going to put, um, this wall? What is the point? So, my guess is... It, that's it's all just an illusion. There is no actual properties to anything out there besides the aesthetic. There's no actual like it can probably just fall right through the damn floor. Is probably what would happen. I'm gone. Honestly, if we're gonna be honest here, but that of course I have no proof of that because I'm not. Well, actually, to be fair, do I have a no clip ability? Hang on. I'm not sure if I can use that. I'm not sure if no clip even is a thing. To be fair, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I don't want to die, but you know, if you map maker really did put all that work into making everything physical, pointless, because you can't even go there. So, yeah, which is why I have a weird feeling that you probably did. So, again, it's a really cool aesthetic, 
and it makes a really good first impression, but then when you actually put it into practice and play the game, it's kind of disappointing, you know? That is a little disappointing. Now, I'm giving it a lot of shit right now, but again, I said this is either a nine, 8 or a 9 in the making, so I'm still debating on that. So don't feel like I think your map is a piece of shit. You've done very well. You are an artist when it comes to this stuff. You really are. This is a really cool concept. The map is awesome. Pathing issue, probably going to be an 8. Because that's the second time it's happened. You might want to work on that. But, you know. As a situation. It's a situation where it's an illusion again. Which is unfortunate. I never... I have a personal bias against illusions. I hate the fact that they're out there. But you, like, you can't go to it. Like, I would just love to see the well. Or just that little stuff out there. Like, everything. All this detail. I want to see it without having to, like, no-clip and cheat the whole system. But I can't. As you can see. I can't. And it almost looks like it was intended that I could do that. But just look at this. What is this? But when I go up to it, you can't walk on it. Wait, what? Somehow I just went on the wall there. I probably wasn't supposed to. But when I did, I noticed there was an invisible wall. So I'm not supposed to go over there, I don't think. Which is really sad. Now, if that's just a bug and I'm supposed to go over there, obviously. Just fucking say, I'm an idiot. Why didn't... I should have known that was a bug. But obviously I shouldn't. But you know what I mean. It was a bug. Basically. And it was a bug. And this fits it. And then the map is bigger. And that would be awesome. But from what I'm getting at, this is not a bug. Like, there's an invisible wall. I can shoot over it, of course. Because that's how these invisible wall things work. You can program them to do that. But, you know, I can't actually get past it. Which, you know, as I've said a million times, is just disappointing. So, yeah. Rambled on about that for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, but, um... What else is there? Like, look how much of a space that is there. Like, that's just crazy. We're already on wave 10, so that should tell you how long I've been rambling about this. Sorry if I had just gotten old. Whoa! Let's take out this. A little more way. Boom! Let's go! Boom! Boom! I love this weapon. I really do. I don't know if it actually increases my melee stuff, though, to be fair. Or if it's even affected by any of the bonuses. It seems like it does. It is, though, because I swear I'm doing so much more damage than I used to. That could be wrong. Oh. I'm not always right, as you know. What the fuck is going on back there? For some reason, another weird thing is I'm not actually encountering any flesh pounds anymore, really. I don't know why. I just not. You're only encountering, like, these flame faints in the fucking screaming girls. I didn't change anything with the options. Don't think that. I think that's just a weird situation. I don't know why that actually happened. Maybe that has to do with map spawn sizes or something. But that one makes sense. How did I find the first one? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know what happened. I just ended up in a rare situation where I wish it actually happened in a uh, uh, tripwire mate or whatever. It's an achievement based map, basically. Everything has to go this All right. time. So this is probably going to be an easy Patriarch kill, because to be fair, um, shotgun, close range situation, GG well played. <laughs> so, I think we pretty much have seen... Why is there no music? Oh. Yeah, we've had that talk before. Uh, no music. Yeah, there's literally no sound. That's, um, that's freaking disturbing. Okay. You're going to um, have to fix that. Maybe a 7. No, I don't want to... I don't know. I'll just give it an 8, probably, because... Music isn't the big... Well, no, actually, it is a pretty damn big deal. I might give you a 7. We'll see. I'll let you know. But no music, you might want to fix that. That means you forgot to add one script. Not a big issue, really, so maybe I'll just give it a 7.5. I don't know. Probably give it a 7.5. Because we've discussed this before, or maybe I've discussed this with another map maker. I forget. But... Excellent. You can put in music. Subject. It's all custom. So, yeah. The fact that there was no music was a problem. <laughs> now let me go into a close quarter situation so I can just instantly kill the sucker. 
Oh wait, that is gonna happen, fucker. There we go! Insta kill! Pretty much. Okay. So that was that took us about twenty six minutes. Not too long at all. So alright, my score. I'm sure you're gonna go about wanna know about that, so let's just reiterate why I'm giving it the score I'm gonna give it. It's it gives you the impression that it's a large map. It really does. But it's not. It's a medium sized map. So there's that. And you know I have my personal biases. I never really give a smaller map a ten out of ten unless it's just phenomenal. Which I think that Ashes one might have been. It could have been very good, and it was very good. But you could do almost everything with that. Like, there was very little invisible walls, if I remember correctly. But th it's just the fact that I'm salty that I can't fucking go on the Zeppelin, okay? I want to go on the Zeppelin! <laughs> uh, I know that'd be a lot of work, obviously, but to be fair, there is no quota. Unless they're, you're working for a publisher that somehow only exists with mods, which I've never heard of. But you have no quota, so... We could have waited longer. We could have waited a year, and you could have just spent an entire year on this map, hard work. I would have given you a direct 10 then. Like, if I could literally just go on a Zeppelin and be like... <laughs> that would just be phenomenal. Being able to, you know, go on those towers and just climbing up this giant staircase, like... <gasps> all the way up on the Zeppelin. Instant 10. Instant fucking 10. Especially if you could get the maps, the, um... Pathing issues to work. Because, obviously, there'd be some slight pathing issues to that. Because that would be complicated as fuck. Like, you're climbing the tower. But, you know, that would have been an instant 10 out of 10. And you, I saw the towers. Don't lie to me. I saw the towers. <laughs> you were giving the illusion you could go up on those things. But you could not. Which was really just... It, it, it broke my heart. <laughs> it broke my heart. And then there were some pathing issues. Which, obviously, you know, need to be addressed. To be fair, it only happened, I believe, two times, and that's in that one spot, and I don't really know why. So, and it wasn't a big deal, really, for the most part. They just kind of froze for a minute, then started moving, but that spider didn't move at all. I just was, like, sitting there, like, hey, buddy, how you doing? And then decided to jump on me out of nowhere, which was a little weird. I don't know why that happened, but it did happen. So, if possible, see what's going on with that area, if you can. And then, um, finally, the final thing that's going to determine my score is, unfortunately, the incidents that occurred right at the end, too. You were so close. The incident that occurred at the end in which there was literally no music. So that's going to, unfortunately, have to bump my score to a 7.5. Because the music. <laughs> which is unfortunate, but that's going to have to be my rating. Now, don't get me wrong. That was an amazing map, but as I went on about in the video, because you got my curiosity up, because you made me go, I want to go explore this city, and then you kind of basically just put a wall there and said, no, no, no city for you. You are confined to this place. That, that bothers me. That is one of my, I might say pet peeves. Like, it's one of my biases, honestly, maybe you could say, but I don't like that stuff. Whenever that happens, that is definitely going to affect my score. Now, to be fair, if it's done right, like, for example, on that canyon one where they showed you a little bit of the canyon, but there might have just literally been nothing back there. Now, you might have no idea what I'm talking about, and that's fair, but my audience does, probably. So, there was a canyon map. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just start over. There was a canyon map I gave, I believe, a 10 out of 10 because it was so fucking big. It was just so detailed, and it was awesome, right? If I remember correctly... No, I'm not going to say that because I don't remember the name. But um, one thing I will say is it definitely got a 10 out of 10. I remember that. I was like, fuck this, 10 out of 10, it's amazing. But it did have invisible walls. It did have invisible walls. But the way they did it made it okay because literally if they had made it any bigger, it would be a KFO map. Like the... the um, How... F like it was just basically they were... It was like a blank canyon is basically what I'm going to put it. Like, it was a river. 
Like, the if you had gone further, you would have drowned, realistically. So, that made sense. Whereas, in this case, you just have walls you can't go over. Like, okay, so how the hell do people get out of this part of the city? You know, like, that to me bothers me because, you know, again, as I just said, how do they get out of the city? Like, it's obviously a city. Obviously, people have to go through it. So, how do they get through? The doors? I mean, I guess that makes some sense, but... It didn't really seem like there were many doors! And all of them were, like, boarded up and shit. So, how does anyone get anywhere kind of situation, but... You know. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Now, as I said... To be fair... On that one map, if they made it any bigger, it'd have to be a KFO map. Now, as I said... This is a personal opinion of mine. And just about every score I give is personal. So, you should know that your stuff is not bad. In fact, your stuff is fucking top tier, if you ask me. In terms of art style and whatnot. But, on a personal level, I do not like the fact you can't go anywhere. Like, it's just kind of... It's really just a medium or smallish map that makes you think it's a large map kind of thing. I don't like that. So, yeah. Anyway, before I continue to ramble on about the same topics, thank you everyone for watching. Um, this has been Zelkrin, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.